So a tense nail biter of a match that eventually saw South Africa draw the two-match T20 series at one apiece. And for Australia captain Cameron White, he was clearly gutted at that defeat. Yeah, it's a really hard one to swallow, I guess. Um, oh, look, I'm not sure what the numbers were. 60, 60 ish, 60 runs, four and a bit overs, five overs. So eight and nine in. I'm, yeah, you should obviously get over the line there most times. In saying that, um, you know, it'll be a great, it'll be a great learning curve and experience for our young team. In contrast, delight for South Africa and in particular all-rounder Rusty Tehran. In all situations through any sports career, you're going to have time where you need to come back from some kind of low. And you know, <laughs> thankfully for me today, it was uh, you know straight back from one low to to a very high. And you know, it's, uh, it's it doesn't often happen like that. And you know, I can just be thankful for an opportunity like that to come along. So the T20 series finishes one apiece, and it's South Africa who feel they've got the momentum going into the One Day series. I think it's just very important uh, to get a victory. Um, you know, although the team d teams do change a little bit, but at the same token, uh, the spirit of the team will, is lifted. Look, if you're winning, if you're the winning side, you probably say that you do, and if you're the losing side, you probably say that you don't. So, um, read into it what you want. Well, a little earlier, I was joined by Kepler Vessels, who played for both Australia and South Africa, and he feels very little can be read into this result going into the One Days. I don't think it will at all because it's a new team. Uh, you've got some reinforcements coming. The Australian side will be a lot stronger and so will the South African side as well. They've got uh, a new captain coming into it, some experienced players coming in, so they'll be strong. South Africa have got Carlos and Stain coming back. So two different teams, two different formats, and I don't think this uh, result will have any bearing on that one. Well, if that's whetted your appetite for more, there's not long to wait until the one day as battle commences at Centurion on Wednesday.